So I've shown quite a variety of matches at this point, but there is still room for something a bit different. In this case, I'll be showcasing a match with a horrendous connection and a few disconnects. You can usually tell when someone's about to drop when ink no longer appears. The longer it takes for it to suddenly pop into existence, the more disconnects are about to occur. Usually. While this is occurring, you can still splat foes apparently, as shown right here. But unusually enough, the Kraken does not travel on enemy ink any faster than you would with a normal squid form. While I do get the invincibility, the crippling movement means I barely end up making any progress towards the enemy base. And once I do get there, well... <sighs> Let's just say I actually felt like I was being put out of my misery at the time. After that nonsense, some of you may have noticed one squid icon on our team is currently being marked as splatted. That's because one of our team members got disconnected. This is usually an indication that the battle ahead will be tough. But it's really just about to become even more frustrating for me. Moving towards the center here, I easily take out the squid garnet and swim up to it to clean up the place. Or so I thought. The connection gets stable once again right at the worst of times for me, making me easy picking for yet another foe. Anyway, the connection finally stabilizes here, and fortunately the second person to drop was on the enemy team, so the match is now on equal terms again, even though we had the disadvantage for a while. Generally, if you face connection issues like these yourself, it's probably better to stay inside your base, and maybe not even do anything in the hopes that it won't be you that will disconnect. Oh, did I say the connection finally stabilized? No, it falters a bit here too, and at my expense once again. No one disconnected from this, however. So I take out the enemy after goodness knows how many shots. Head towards the enemy's side and... Oh. Great! I really shouldn't have to say it out loud because it's blitteringly obvious. But this was a really frustrating match for me. I'm doing my best to get something going on. But every time, something trips me up. Fortunately... I managed to get some reprieve and revenge on all my foes here. Good team too, because we would have most certainly lost otherwise. Seriously, look at these results. A single shot could have made a difference. I want to say the better team won, but the conditions in this match were less than fair. Don't feel too bad if you lose a match with similar problems, because it sure isn't your fault if you did. Although make sure you're not downloading through BitTorrent or something while playing the game, because then it would actually be your fault. Check the playlists for more Splatoon tips and matches, and I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a nice day.